Good morning again. Today's philosophy is brought to you by the 18th century Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, probably the second coolest name in philosophy outside of Pierre Arroway, aka Voltaire. Soren said, life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. You probably know about the Bayeux Tapestry that sits in Caen in France, which is a 70 metre long embroidery telling the story of the entire Battle of Hastings. This is called the Battle Tapestry that was made by the local people a number of years ago. It sits in the St Mary's Church in the town of Battle and it tells the story of after the Battle of Hastings. The Bayeux Tapestry kind of tells the story of the battle up until that point and this is kind of a continuation. Seated here, there's Oops, sorry, you see here is, this is Gwitha and Edith who found the body of King Harold and you'll see the arrow sticking out of his eye. This tells a story of, oh, this is King William and his wife Matilda, Matilda Regina. Regina means royal or Regina or in the Latin. Mum, how do you pronounce it in Latin? Regina. Regina. This is King William was made to pay penance for his invasion and usurpation of the crown. So he built an abbey where he had felled King Harold with an arrow to the eye. This is the big part of the story that we're here for. In about 1090, all the bishops came down to consecrate the abbey. And here, no, oh sorry, here is the Archbishop of Canterbury. Now, all this tapestry has a subtext and down here, this is William Rufus hunting in the New Forest. And remember, he died in 1100. We went to his, where he was killed the other day. And obviously this is the abbey. Now what happened is the town just grew too big. This is a story it's telling, hence the Latin for populace. It became too big, so they ended up building St Mary's Church over the road in order to have services out there. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one in one take. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like always, this is the yew tree that's referenced in the Bayou Tapestry. And in Christianity, the yew tree is sim symbolizes both life and death. And probably because it was also used as a weapon. But because uh, most of the longbows were made, well, all of the longbows were made out of the yew tree. And if you look over here, you can see why it had an incredible amount of flexibility and durability. But we just noticed a good opportunity to have a good look at a yew tree. It's long and drawn out. Just looking at this bunch over here, you can quite easily see several opportunities to make a six foot longbow, which by the 13th century was considered to be unfair warfare because it was just so devastating and it could cause fatalities from such a great distance. Now, this morning we went to Battle Abbey and we spoke about it there and today we've come down to Crowhurst and I just want to show you something else if you follow me up. Yeah, yeah, you were saying. On the Bayer Tapestry, there's two or three women and one of the women is seen pulling a small boy out of a burning house and it's said that that burning house was Harold's manor because he was lord of the manor here and this was all laid waste in the battle Yeah. and that was the manor house that was on the Bayer Tapestry a little boy being pulled out by Edith Swanneck pulling out Ulf, Harold's son and the suggestion is that where that ruin is over there 
That ruin yeah. is where the manor house was that is on the Bayer Tapestry and it was burnt to the ground and then that was built in 1100 and we believe that it was probably built there because it was the same site as the old manor house that had been the wells and everything around here to facilitate having a building there and we believe that was the site of the old manor house on the Bayer Tapestry and that's this replacement built in 1100. Yeah, amazing. And so this is, to my understanding, all the research I've done on the subject, which has been, yeah. I've been looking at yeah. this for a long time, the French, the Bretons, yeah. and the Flemish yeah. all came, the Flemings, they yeah. all came over here. Through here, to the from base, the coast. And the English were set up there, at the top well, of that. Over there there. in Battle they were set up, yeah. to fight them. And all this was laid waste. They yeah. burnt and ruined the whole area, yeah. and went on to that. There where Harold got killed, and that's where he came in. Right? Yeah, amazing. And that's on the Bayer Tapestry. Um, what, what fascinates me is that the Flemings were with the French. Yeah. And my surname is Fleming. Right. And I'm always awkward talking about it because I feel like people think I'm trying to attach myself. But we're all kind of related. You go back yeah. 15 generations, yeah. we're going to have a uh, family right. member. We'll all yeah. be related. Yes. But because my name just happened to luckily have travelled down yeah. through, yeah. and I go back to these people, yeah. um, pretty exciting stuff for me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'm pleased that you have an interest to come and visit Crowhurst to see it. Yeah, well, we're history buffs yeah. and we're documenting our entire trip. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if nobody tunes into it, at yeah. least we can watch it in years to come. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for okay, stopping and having that chat. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, mate. Okay. That was a little bit of a treat up there while we we're looking at the yew tree talking about it and how it's 1000 years old it has been it has been tested it's been examined it is 1000 years old and it grows into the roman wall that runs adjacent to it and we know that roman wall is well over a thousand years old so this is all confirmed in the bayou tapestry now i know what the very pleasant gentleman pointed out he said that the battle took place at the town of battle but the reason this story is so interesting is over the last decade we have now discovered that, and, and I don't have a dog in the fight, I'm only interested in the truth myself. This is what fascinates me, is that the battle is said to have taken place here in Crowshurst, and that's why Crowhurst is referenced on the Bayou Tapestry. The gentleman said that they came through here and they torched it, burnt it, and continued up to battle. But geophys that they've done at Battle Abbey and in the grounds behind it have shown nothing, but they have dug up remains here which doesn't confirm there being a battle here, it just shows that they've come through here. So our understanding of it at the moment is that the French, that included the Bretons and the Flemings, I feel awkward about mentioning Flemings because I'm not trying to connect myself to the story, I'm just lucky enough to have my name filter straight through that line. But the French came, and the Bretons and the Flemings came through here, and the Normans, and the English were mounted up on the hill. Now if we pan around and have a look up here, we see more wall, we see up over the hill, there are mounds over there where it's believed that uh, many, many men have been buried. And there's also a pond up there that was the one that may have run red with blood. When you go to the town of Battle, there is no red pond, or no pond. So it's definitely a remarkable place to visit when you have an interest in history. And it's kind of the birth of the modern royal family in the United Kingdom because, as we spoke about the other day, we had the Anglo-Saxon kings and queens. They started in about 827, but the Norman Conquest really changed everything. And that's where most of our interest, both my mother and myself, in royal history comes into effect. Cheers, Mum. So there's the old abbey. It was built by King William to commemorate the spot that King Harold died. And there is the old Roman wall that has the yew tree growing through it. That's the yew tree behind the building there.